Hello and welcome everyone, Paul Walker here and I'm here to do video number 17 in this 100 day video challenge. So um, if you've been watching my videos over the last sort of 16 videos then you'll know that I'm kind of taking a step back in time as if I was a brand new online entrepreneurial marketer right now, um, you know, launching my business for the first time but obviously doing it with the knowledge and experience that I've actually been able to gain over the last 18 months. And, how that would change my business. You know, would I do things differently? Uh, would I put more effort into other things than you know than other different things that are out there? So, over these, as I said, these next hundred videos, this is kind of going back in time, but with the knowledge and experience that I actually have been able to pick up. And certainly in these first twenty-five videos, so we're here at video number seventeen. Um, this is about really that initial first, you know, thirty days in business, that first sort of twenty-five days in business. So. Over the last couple of ones, we've gone through about you know how to get people into your business. Uh, basically, once they do sort of sign the dotted line, you know, setting up your business plan, that type of thing. So today's video is going to be about crafting your story, okay? And what I mean by that is everyone does have a story, okay? Uh, whether you think your story is some big epic of a thing that should be turned into a movie, or whether you think you know you're quite humble and your story is just a very simplistic sort of story. Whatever you think, whatever you believe, understand that you have a story and it's unique. It's unique to you and that there is at least one other person in the world who needs to hear your story for whatever reason, okay? And as soon as you can start comprehending that and certainly believing that your story is powerful, then the quicker and I guess the more easier you know, crafting your story and helping people to discover their story, you know, is going to be for you, okay? Now, when I first jumped online, I've got to say, I believe I do actually have quite a powerful and unique story and I'm not really going to go into it here because it's, it's far too long to go into it. But when I came online, I realized that I did have quite a unique story and that, you know, the driving kind of force behind why I do what I love to do really is grounded in my story and basically the things that happened to me prior to me sort of making this decision to come online. So when I actually did come online and started to build my business, you know, I realized that my story was a big integral part of that. I just didn't really know how to kind of craft it. And if anyone sort of asked me, well, Paul, what is it that you do or why do you do what you do? Instead of just giving them a very concise and short, you know, maybe sort of one to two minute um, kind of blurb like this is this is it, I would go off on a big 20 minute, you know, half an hour tangent of, you know, when I was born, this happened, and then when I was five, this happened, and then when I was 10, and it just, you know, too long winded, and it really just didn't get to the point quick enough. So what I want to help you do is really craft, as I said, your story, it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're 18, whether you're 28, 38, 58, 68, about grabbing key points in your life and building and constructing that into a story that has some very key moments and obviously has a point so that when you tell your story, it's resonating with people and they're like, you know what, that's happened to me or, you know, I can relate to that. And by highlighting, you know, a couple of key things in your story, will hopefully, as I said, resonate with that person that they actually go, hey, you know what? This is the guy that I kind of want to learn from or I want to you know, have mentor me because he's been through the exact same thing that I've been through or you know, I'm going through this right now and he's, he's gone through and come through the other side. So what I'd like you to do to help craft your story um, is basically grab a sheet of paper or you know, on a Word document, I want you to focus on four topics, right? Four topics are number one, my life so far, my life until this point, okay? And instead of just writing out a big, you know, 50-page essay on that, within that topic, I want you to write key bullet points, okay? So think of your life from as far back as you can remember to where you are right now today, and I want you to think about the, some of the key moments in your life, okay? Good, bad, ugly, whatever. What are moments that when you think of certain emotions or you think of certain periods in your life, what are those memories, okay? And I want you to put them down in a bullet point 
in under topic number one, which is my life so far, okay? In topic number two, again, I want you to get really specific about those key defining moments, okay? And as I said, they can be sad things, they can be tragic things, they can just be moments where you actually had a realization, they can be happy things, you know, whatever the case may be, really that moments that stand out in your life when you look back over your life, I want you to put those key elements into topic number two, so your defining moments, okay? Or, or significant moments, however you want to word it. Topic number three, I want you, I want you to be why or what was your decision that made you decide that you wanted to build a business online, okay? What was that turning point? What was it? Maybe it was a handful of things, but ultimately, what was the, the things that made you get to that decision about, I want to build a business online, or I want to be in business for myself, or you know, I, I want to be one of these online people that you know, get to speak and help other people out. Whatever it is, and whatever the reason why you're online, define that in topic number three, okay? I want you to, again, put those into bullet points. And then the fourth and final topic, I want you to talk